My name's Hunter, and you're in my studio in downtown LA. So tell me what you're working on. Well, I'm still kind of working on these, uh, these cutout shapes here of various animals. So I'm kind of nearing the end of this body work. Now I'm kind of getting back to more traditional paintings on canvas. Kind of loosely based on the Flintstones and Smokey the Bear. I love Smokey the Bear. He's like this kind of iconic American character. He's like this protector of the forest. He's also like funded by the government. And I just like that he's uh, on all these billboards as this kind of protector of American wilderness. I painted Smokey the Bear the first week I moved to LA. I had never painted him before that. It just felt right to paint Smokey being in California. I've always wanted to live in California, and I got kind of a late start. I moved out here on a whim. I came out with a friend to help deliver a painting. We decided to stay, so we got a, we got a lease on an apartment downtown. One of the things I love about LA is that everyone's kind of here for a reason. They're all kind of here to like do something that they want or to like build the life they want, kind of create the the world they want to live in. So you can you can move here and you can be an entrepreneur or like you can be on OnlyFans or you can make weird paintings and there's there's a place for you here. So I recently had a show up in San Francisco. It was in the Castro Gallery called Schlomer House. And uh, it was my first solo show. It was really cool to, to see all the work outside of the studio for once. And San Francisco, I hadn't really spent much time there. I was busy installing for a couple days. And then once I got the show up, I was able to go out and kind of see the city. And I went out to a couple historic gay bars there. At one of them, they had all these like wooden cutouts of male characters, kind of Tom of Finland style. I really loved them and they kind of like emanated this energy into the space and that kind of gave me the idea for these cutout animals. It was super cool to, to be able to show in the Castro for having it be like such an iconic area and the home of so much like queer history that I couldn't think of like a better first show for me to have. When community and the art comes together in any regard, it ends up being like a little bit more special than when it feels like the art is like misplaced within a different community. So alongside like my painting practice, I've always had some photography. Every once in a while, I'll find a model who will come pose along the paintings. They're kind of there as models, but they're also kind of part of the work. They're also like, I also kind of think of them as like living sculptures in my, in my space. So tell me a bit about these sculptures. Yeah, I just started working in ceramics again uh, a few months ago, actually. I feel like I could only paint so many hours in a day before like, I need to do something else and I felt like I needed to work with my hands more. Um, I joined a clay studio, so I've been making these bare heads that came from the paintings that I was making where I wanted to kind of understand the form and the way that they're constructed a little bit more and it's really helped me in painting as well. I find it very therapeutic where um, painting the way that I do, I have so many like built-in breaks where I'll put a layer down and I'll have to wait maybe 20 or 30 minutes for a layer to dry. And so I'm kind of looking at the clock like, oh, I've only put down two layers in, a, in this hour or whatever. But ceramics, I will just work and work and suddenly it's been six hours and I don't know where the time went. So I took my first art class my senior year of high school, kind of on a whim. I had been taking like a lot of science classes. I had always planned to be a doctor like my dad. Then I took this random art class and I was super intimidated. I just felt really out of place, but my teacher was really sweet and I ended up just like falling in love with it and I was spending all my time making art that last year of high school and I just like pr knew pretty early on that this was what I wanted to do with my life. So I really didn't look back, I applied to schools only in, for art instead of science. Yeah, so before I started painting I usually start with drawing it out maybe like 20 to 50 times of just trying to get the image right and making small adjustments. Very similar drawings, um, just changing a few things up, just trying to get like figure placement right and just kind of the way that the figures are touching or placed in the composition. And then sometimes I'll plug it into like an iPad and then edit it further and just kind of keep warping it until I get the image just right. There's a ton of pre-work that goes into each one of my paintings. It really helps me kind of just think through the image. You know, other artists have told me that they're jealous that my work is so quick and like, oh, I wish I could make a painting. Like, this looks like it was made in a day, and they don't realize I've been drawing this image for potentially weeks, and then kind of the prep work, and then that I, I mix this pumice into the gesso, and then that takes a while to dry, and several layers. So there's all this pre-work that maybe isn't so obvious. You just make it look so easy. 